all gets done. You good? Ah! Hey guys, welcome to my house. The world knows it as Pastrana Land, just outside of Annapolis, Maryland. It's been a lot of fun. We have a lot of ramps, it's been evolution. We'll show you all the innovation that's gone into building Pastrana Land and making it what it is today. When I was 15 years old, we always used to ride the woods back here and found that this property was for sale. I was able to sign my pro contract, win the X Games, bought this piece of land, built the shop when I was 17, 18, built the house, 19, we got the foam pit in there. We have a constant evolution. Everything keeps getting bigger, crazier, and more fun. Welcome to the Viper Pit. This is a figure eight pit bike something. Nope, my knees don't, I couldn't swap out the feet. Too big for this thing. It's pretty cool, one guy gets in, another person gets in, another person gets in. Actually, Tara Geiger, there's a couple of girls that have done this. When one person comes across, the next person's coming and you're just, just zoned in and the G-forces get pretty high. Third gear pinned on a 110, ooh baby. It's some good times. Oh, we got three in. Oh, not gonna work. Stop, 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 stop. There we go, go, keep going. The most we've had in is eight people. We got four now, and you can see it's already getting a little sketchy up there. Oh! I mean, that looked like, that looked entertaining. I was entertained out here watching. Dude, that was a good time. <laughs> So originally, this was the BMX dirt jump area, but it rains all the time in Maryland. So I called my buddy Nate Wessel. I said, hey, I'm gonna go to X Games again this year. I said, if I win anything, we're gonna put whatever that winning is into a skate park. I ended up winning two gold medals that year. All the bonuses, everything in. I would have loved to have put some of this into savings, but as it turns out, I got one of the baddest skate parks on the East Coast. My wife is a two-time Burt World Champion, as well as I think three-time X Games gold medalist. She probably know that, but yes. Anyway, she skates real well. When I first met her, she was the only girl actually doing uh, the mega ramp. That's actually how I met her for Giganta. So this is pretty cool. We built her a big old roll in so she could work on her quarter pipe airs right there. It's been a lot of fun. So we started with the slip and slide down the hill, and then we built the slip and die. Uh, which was an over under cross. This has all been kind of repurposed. After we got a little bit older, we realized that that was really painful. This is a lot more functional for the stuff that we're doing now. I'd say the, not the item, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, feature, thank you. The feature that gets used the most on our property has to be the pump trap. It's awesome because my girls started on the little Stay Six and Striders when they were two years old. They get a feel of how to pump, how to maneuver, and it's so good for training for myself. A good place when you're trying to get back in shape or you're trying to get back from an injury uh, before you hit the skate park and, uh, and all the big reps. So this is where it all gets done. Everything basically that you see is done right here because around in Maryland we have a lot of trees. So this is our one open area where we have enough room to kind of work. We got a, a little mini bag jump for the kids to start working on their first gap jump and first ramp jump, which is, is always kind of fun. We take a lot of motivation from the bicycle guys, from the mountain bike guys. I've been rally racing with Brandon Semina. Probably the greatest free ride mountain biker of all time. He came out with a Red Bull video and he did a couple of things on that video that I know we can do on dirt bikes and he talked me into building this. And then I broke my wrist. So thanks Brandon, a lot of help you are. But I think it's gonna work, you are right. It's gotta be a little bit better next time. We got some great people always out here helping us with, uh, with everything. No one's, no one's afraid to work around here. If they are, they don't come back. So uh, it's a pretty cool little, little group. That's what makes it go. We got Craig Duffy over here, front flip hero, part of the Maryland Wrecking Crew. 
and the only rider that was willing to hit some of these big ramps, and the only rider that's ever been able to do a double front flip on a dirt bike. Should be good. We test this uh, this new ramp. Basically, we got a little bit of an incline to see if it can pop them up a little bit higher. So we'll see how far that throws you. Good luck. See what happens. Yeah. Trial and error. <laughs> There we go. Ah, oh, it's perfect. These things are the most scariest design ever, but they do make the impossible possible. And when we're working on Nitro Circus, like that's kind of what the goal is. Yep. We'll see how he hits this jump first time. Short. I framed the top first time. You did way better than me. It's a pretty small jump to be messing up that bad, but I'm glad to see he messed it up too. Makes me feel a little better. Oh, here we go. So we're gonna save this for another time. You guys maybe uh, check back later and you'll see what we're gonna be doing off it. But. Uh, we at least know the, uh, the jump on work, so stoked. So when James Foster and Jed Milton came and said, hey, we want to do a quadruple backflip on a BMX bike, we took the biggest hill that we had and we put some plywood on it, and that wasn't enough. So then we built a 25-foot tall platform, and that wasn't enough. So we went up <laughs> another eight feet, and then that still wasn't enough. So we had to actually dig the bottom, which you don't see right now, we actually dug down um, another about 10 feet into the ground so they had more of a down. And then that way we didn't have to build quite as tall of a, of a landing for them. This one is now 24 foot tall. And that's the one that Jed Milton ended up coming over to the States to use to do a quadruple flip right there. That same week, triple backflip, Josh Sheehan. Uh, only one to ever do it on a dirt bike was right there. Those guys both did it to a wooden landing, which is extremely impressive. Uh, my property line stops here, uh, but it's awesome because there's about six of us, all different property owners. Uh, the motocross track is on the property, two over. Scrambles track and the Can Am track uh, is on the property right next to us. We try to keep most of the, the super sketchy stuff on, on this land, and then uh, the, the fun shenanigans, the pit bike tracks, and that kind of stuff is all uh, kind of on everyone else's property. So it's amazing that we are fortunate enough to have this much land um, this close to, uh, to everything else. the wind out of you. Can I get some help on the airbag? We're gonna, we got enough people right now. It's dry until tonight. Like, I think we're gonna be able to get that thing quick. Appreciate you guys, thank you. Really what makes Pastrana Land work is not only that it's here and we have access to everything, it's my friends. It's my dad and my uncles and the construction and just the, the blue collar, hardworking people that surround us. I am so fortunate and, um, you know, the fact that my dad from time to time needs work and uh, charges me double to come here and build some really rad stuff. <laughs>coming along with me taking a tour of Pastrana Land. Uh, we have a lot of fun here. A lot of passionate people make this place tick. And uh, if you come out at any point, it's probably going to be completely different because every single day we change something. We innovate, we progress, and that's what it's all about.